I want to rewind for a little bit here. You see Todd Gurley in your opponent's lineup, and you know it's all done for. You know you cannot win. Todd Gurley, he is unbeatable. He is a fantasy force that you cannot mess with. Now I want to come back to present day time. Todd Gurley is being drafted in the third and fourth round, has arthritis, and no one has mentioned him being traded to the Falcons because no one cares about Todd Gurley because he is washed up and he's lost steps. Uh, I, I want to talk about Todd Gurley because I think this kind of narrative that he's horrible now or whatever or completely injury prone, I think is a little unfair. Obviously, yes, there are concerns about his health. Obviously, yes, there are huge concerns about his health. But we can't ignore how talented Gurley is. And on this page, I, f I feel like I say that a lot. We can't ignore how talented he is. And that's really the most important, one of the most important things in fantasy football is talent. Some players are more talented than others. And Todd Gurley is extremely talented. And he happens to be in an a, a position, he has an opportunity that I think could really provide solid fantasy value. So I want to talk about Todd Gurley and what, what exactly I'm thinking about him uh, as, of, as of May 28th, or 20, 28th is when I'm recording. I want to talk about what I'm thinking about him in May. And really, I think he's a great value pick. Here's why. He's going third and fourth rounds. So he's potentially, you know, he's going to be your third running back if you're, run if you're drafting running back, running back, running back. He's the third running back on your roster. Todd Gurley is one of the few players that if he has a role and is healthy, he will be an RB1. He's that talented. He was an MVP candidate a couple of years back. He is that talented that if he has a role and he's healthy, he will be an RB1. There aren't a lot of players going in the fourth or third even round that we can say that about. I, I don't think there are any. And the narrative is that Todd Gurley, he's injury prone, and yeah, the injuries are a concern. But for running backs, I'm concerned about all their healths. Uh, will Todd Gurley play 16, season, 16 games? Probably not, no. But will other running backs in the third and fourth round? Probably not, no. Obviously, he has a higher risk, but he also has a higher chance of being an RB1 if he's on the field than those other guys in the third and fourth round. So I think that the the the, the upside outweighs the injury side. So that's where I am in terms of the concern about the injuries. Now, what is the concern about has he lost a step? Watching Todd Gurley last year, I went back, I watched a ton of Todd Gurley. I uh, went back and I watched a ton from previous years too. Todd Gurley is still the same player. He's still as shifty as ever, but he has lost a step. He is not as fast as he once was, and really his acceleration is much, much, is very much lacking in comparison. But that's the key in comparison. In comparison to who? Todd Gurley has lost a step in comparison to Todd Gurley, an MVP candidate, the number one running back in fantasy football. If there's one player in the world that could afford to lose a step, it's Todd Gurley because he was miles ahead of everyone. He can lose a step and still be one of the better running backs in the league, in my opinion. That's, that's, that's what I'm thinking right now. Let's say Todd Gurley is healthy, but he lost a step. He's still a solid RB2. He was a solid RB2 last year. Let's say he has a little bit better of an opportunity and he's working even harder in the offseason because he knows he's on a one-year contract and this is a make-it-break-it year for him, I think he can be an RB1. I, I think it's very much in the realm of possibilities that we see Gurley surpass 1,000 rushing yards and 400 receiving yards. I think a 1,400 total yards season is extremely possible for Todd Gurley in the Falcons' offense. Does that mean it will happen? No. Does that mean he will stay healthy? No. I have no idea if he'll stay healthy. I can't predict that. But I can say in the third and fourth round, there is not another running back who has as much upside as Todd Gurley. There isn't another running back that we say, okay, they play 16 games and they have good opportunity. They're an RB1. There isn't another guy like that that exists. Todd Gurley is an anomaly. Anom uh, Todd Gurley is an anomaly. He's, he's one of a kind. Todd Gurley's one of a kind in that position. And look, 
there's no competition for touches in the Falcons' backfield. Edo Smith, well, Edo Smith is not taking carries away. I, I am not worried about Edo Smith and Brian Hill. I am not worried. The backfield is Todd Gurley's. They believe in Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley believes in himself, and I believe in Todd Gurley. I don't care if he doesn't stay healthy 16 games. In the third and fourth round, someone who's going to be an RB1 when he is healthy, that is worth it. That is worth it to me. So Todd Gurley is one of my favorite running backs, and a lot of people on TikTok, they were like, oh, you don't like Delvin Cook because of the injuries, but you like Todd Gurley. That's hypocritical. No, it's not, because Delvin Cook's going the first round. Delvin Cook's going for five picks. Todd Gurley's not. The, the, the draft position is super important. So if Todd Gurley rises to the second round, I don't like him there. But if you can still manage to get Todd Gurley in the third round, maybe fourth round, come August, September, give me Todd Gurley all day long. I believe in his knees.